In this video, I'll be talking about energy resources. So most of our energy comes from the sun, whether it's directly or indirectly. The sun releases energy by fusion of hydrogen to form helium. Renewable energy is unlimited and could be replenished. However, non-renewable energy is limited and could not be replaced after it's been used up. The reason why renewable energy is not as common is because it is more costly and less reliable. For example, solar cells aren't effective during the winter. So biofuel is an example of a renewable energy. Biofuels are fuels that are made from plants or animal matter, such as wood or alcohol from sugar canes. The disadvantage of using biofuels is that large area of land is needed to grow the plants. And next we have wind. So wind turbines causes kinetic energy which powers the generator. The disadvantages are that winds are variable and irregular. Wind turbines also require a large area of land and they are noisy and spoils the landscape. Hydroelectricity is also another example of a renewable energy. So a river or rain fills up a lake behind a dam. When the water flows down, the generators are turned. The disadvantage is that it is expensive to build a dam and there are only a few suitable areas in the world. And then we have geothermal. So geothermal is when water is pumped down to hot rocks deep underground and it rises as steam. The disadvantage is that drilling deep is difficult and expensive. Solar cell is also an example of a renewable energy. It is made of materials that deliver electricity when it absorbs light. The disadvantage is that sunlight is a variable. Solar cells are expensive and a large solar cell is required to deliver useful amounts of power. Another example is tidal. So water flows runs the generator. The disadvantage is that it is expensive to build and there are only a few suitable areas in the world. And finally we have water waves. So water waves, the generators are driven by up and down motion on the waves. The disadvantage is that it is difficult and expensive to build. Now let's talk about non-renewable energy. So non-renewable energy is commonly used because it is cheaper and plentiful. However, it releases greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide which leads to global warming. Coal, oil and natural gas are examples of fossil fuels. They are burned for thermal energy and the disadvantage is that it produces polluting gas which contributes to global warming. Another example of non-renewable energy is nuclear fuel. Energy is released by fission which is a process where nucleus of uranium atoms are split up. The disadvantage is that high safety standards are needed and it produces radioactive waste. Nuclear power stations are also expensive and difficult to maintain. Now let's look at the production of electricity using renewable energy. So first of all, the water in the reservoir will flow down and cause the turbine to spin. The kinetic energy from the turbine will power the generator and the generator will generate electricity. Next we'll look at how electricity is produced using non-renewable energy. So coal is burnt to give off thermal energy. The thermal energy will change water into steam. Since steam has a higher pressure than water, it will cause the turbine to spin. When the turbine spins, the kinetic energy from the turbine will power the generator. And so the generator will produce electricity.